Hello YouTube, I'm the Big Bad Wolf Makashima and I'm on location in Little Five Points in Atlanta, Georgia with my friend Chris. So how's it going Chris? Going good man, going good. Good, good. Before we get into the citation court case in Clayton County, Georgia, you won this past March regarding the infamous Cradle of Filth Vestal Masturbation t-shirt you wore at a mall. Let's get the YouTube viewers to know a little bit about you. First off, how old are you? 21 years old. What types of music you listen to? Extreme metal, regular heavy metal, Black Sabbath. I'm sorry, what's the name of the classical, classic rock, 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 hard rock. Okay. What are some of the metal bands you like to listen to? Venom, uh, Bathory. Rumble, Mayhem, Cradle of Filth, Behemoth, and mostly black metal definitely. Okay. I see you always, I see as always you represent as a metalhead from how you dress and carry yourself. What negative reactions you get from people on the street and what types of people are doing it? Uh, well, as far as negative reactions, negative reactions I get are, are you wearing that? You're a devil worshiper, you're going to hell, that's blast me against Jesus, I'm going to kick your ass. Uh, you're black, you're not supposed to be listening to that white shit. Uh, and just idiotic, you know, walker walker, little Wayne, Nicki Minaj, wannabe, it's ridiculous. What <laughs> <laughs> the hell wants to go around sacking their pants for dreads? <laughs> What positive reactions do you get from some people? Uh, positive reactions, mostly when I go to concerts, like when I went to go see uh, Mayhem and Behemoth. They were saying, uh, all right, you listen to Behemoth, Mayhem, and, uh, you know their songs and everything? Like, yeah. I told them about a lot of information I knew by like Dead and Mayhem and all that. They said, that's cool, I'll let you know that. They were just saying, it's, it's rare that, you know, a black guy knows that much. And of course, I met a lot of people in my neighborhood who are black, listening to DSI and stuff like that. They're going to All right. Um, what message and words of encouragement do you have to other people who are harassed and mistreated just because they're being themselves, like goths, emos, metalheads, etc.? Well, I'm going to use the end words of Jimmy Borger. Rajis of the Great Apocalypse, Zero Tolerance on the Issue of Court. And of course, Twisted Sister, we're not going to take it. And what message do you have to the ignorant, narrow minded, the ones who say black people are not supposed to listen to rock and metal and find it strange? I have three. No, three. Things to say, you guys. One of my favorite songs Slipknot. You are nothing but shit. You are evil shit. Which is evil. You are shit. You're a person. You are evil shit. If you're gonna tell me how to address and what music I should listen to and everything. The second one is one one of my favorite British black metal bands said, and of course you all know this song, you killed it, cunt. Especially if you guys don't know what that means, you have to look it up on the internet, because I'm not allowed to say it. And I'm going to say one more phrase from Except. There's a song, Balls to the Wall. I quote, and he said, let's take a ball to light up everybody's ass, which will be you. You discriminated on the I can't say the MF word. You can you can curse you can say that. Oh oh. You can curse you can say that. Motherfuckers, got them dreads and tattoos and imperialism slang that I can't understand. Also, use a goddamn donut as a reference as a bird. What the hell is that? Crispy cream. <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's um, get to the story of your court case. 
how did it happen starting from the beginning in the mall all the way to your first court appearance? Ah, that took place on a Sunday. It was a Sunday, I think it was a little bit cool. So I was like, hell, I'm gonna go get something to eat. You know, or anything. Went to the mall, went to the food court to go get something to eat. And, you know, as I was walking back upstairs, I noticed the security guards were following me. And when the security guards were following me, I was like, oh, they must have somebody was stole something or something like that. And, you know, I turned around, and the guy, the guy said, oh, you need to leave them all, blah, 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 blah. I was like, what? It's like, your shirt is offending people and stuff like that. And I told them, I was like, well, look at that guy right there. He said his pants were like all the way down to the floor. He's not saying anything to him. Like, well, we're not focused on him. He's like, you're offending religion and blah. And I was like, I told him, I was like, how? I was like, how stupid are you? And I was thinking, I'm like, uh, And, you know, so they proceeded me to walk me out to the mall. I got out there, and the moral police were there. By the way, fuck the moral police. <laughs> the shirt front and back and I get kicked off the mall for six months and I was, trying, I was asking the police officers like hey can I walk the other way down this live right there he told me I had to walk all the way around the city to get back home I told him bullshit I want to shoot the middle finger at him so bad but, you know, you can't do that because you get arrested. You got to use common sense in these situations. Uh, that, you know, at court date, and, and, uh, they, they charged me with disorderly conduct. Now, if I'm not wrong, disorderly conduct is an action. I mean, Now, um, I did attend your second hearing to support. I even tried to get two local news media, Fox 5 and Channel 2 Action News, to do a story on your situation. Now, the local news media I contacted by phone said what was on the shirt was too hot to handle for a story. After I described to him what it was. Now, I did not bother to call Channel 11 News because I know they'll say the same thing. I did spread the news to people in the stores of Hot Topic and Spencer's and other people in the mall to which you're a regular customer. Now on your third court appearance to which I was not, I was unable to attend, um, what was the outcome of the case? Well, the outcome of that was I had to go at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, no idea what so, so I got down the morning. I mean, I wasn't going to have been, you know, that was happening. So, came in, I had my camouflage pants on combat boots and Jimmy Borger shirt on, a little pentagram on, a big one. Uh, sat down, I waited, so they finally called me, I went up to the stand, I took the stand, the police officer was giving me a glare like, 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 it's like, you got to, he said, it's like he was giving a look of, you got to call to walk in the courtroom with a black little shirt on. Like, yes, I did. Went up to the stand and uh, I said, uh, I 
this one, why are you being just horrible? And then he just switched back and he just let the officer tell him, he said, well, Mr. Logan was that, uh, Mr. Logan was asked to leave the mall on uh, such and such day because he kept wearing the shirt back to the mall, which is untrue. Uh, that was the only time I wore that shirt there. Uh, the guy said, because uh, I had pictures of the shirt, if you like seeing a judge, was like, no. He turned to me, and he asked what my opinion was. I was like, well, I, was, I think it's kind of dumb how, you know, they called me out because, you know, he's supposedly religiously offensive, offended. And yeah, you got all these other people sacking their pants and stuff like that. You don't say anything to them. And, you know, he was like, after that, he went like, well, Mr. Logan, he's like, the mall's a private property. Private property. He's like, you know what that means, right? That means they can do whatever they want to. So I told him that. I mean, told him. He said, no, that, they, they can't do whatever they want to. But he said, he explained to me that they saw something that, like, like they don't like. It's like, they have a right to be on the mall. And, Does be more remarkable what you were to call. And I said, and what was the reason why the judge dismissed the case? Because just what we conduct is something you do, not not what you wear. Okay. And I'll and um and I see you're wearing the actual shirt that got you the citation. Yep, that's the front. Can you stand up so we can see it? Master Satan. Okay. Can we see the back? And the infamous back. Yeah, that'll raise a few eyebrows for those so-called, um, for certain people. But that's how Cradle of Filth do. They basically raise the bar. Back in the 90s. Yep. Back in the 90s. All right, Chris, um, thank you for sharing your, thank you for sharing your story with, um, with us, um, to the people on YouTube. I'm the Big Bad Wolf Makashima, and once again, I know you hear me knocking, and you know I'm coming in. Thanks, YouTube, and have a good day.